Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Retired Army Colonel Libs planning new civil war. Announced plan to crush normal Americans. There is an article making the rounds on social media among liberals, shared by Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey as a great read, which asserts that California should be viewed as an example of the way forward in the new civil war in which America is currently embroiled. Posted to Medium as part of a series lauding how wonderfully progressive California has become, the piece argued that bipartisanship simply won't work any longer and that Republicans, especially of the conservative variety, must be voted out of political office and essentially exiled from the political realm for at least the next few generations. In their view of this new civil war, they see similarities to certain points in America's history in which two fundamentally different economic structures were at odds, as well as conflict between classes of wealthy and poor, but most especially a clash between two cultures and political ideologies, liberal versus conservative. At some point, one side or the other must win, and win big, wrote author Peter Lydon. The side resisting change, usually the one most rooted in the past systems and incumbent interests, must be thoroughly defeated not just for a political cycle or two, but for a generation or two. The piece proceeded to lament how toxic Republicans in the age of Trump had become and how the party was now the bad guys on the wrong side of history, thus necessitating they be silenced and pushed out of positions of political power, from the presidency to Congress to governorships and state legislatures. In order to facilitate such a dramatic political shift, the article posits that California's rapid move over the past 10 to 15 years from bipartisanship to one-party rule be the model for the rest of the country, and suggested that necessary checks and balances would still be in place due to the variance between far-left progressives and more moderate Democrats. America can afford more political paralysis. One side or the other must win. This is a civil war that can be won without firing a shot. But it is a fundamental conflict between two worldviews that must be resolved in short order, Lydon wrote. Unfortunately for progressives, conservative Republicans are highly unlikely to simply allow themselves to be banished from the political sphere for generations without a whimper, as was duly noted in a response piece in Town Hall by retired U.S. Army Colonel Kurt Schlichter. Schlichter, who has written previously about how a new civil war would actually play out, hint, liberals won't like the outcome, largely dismiss the medium piece as mere wish casting on the part of liberals who now openly seek to silence and disenfranchise the dissenting voices of conservatives. He pointed out how American citizens don't generally appreciate having their rights trampled or being victims of systemic injustice, something Democrats often cry about when liberal mobs take to the streets to protest exactly that, and noted how if normal Americans are barred from legitimate participation in politics, they will simply resort to illegitimate means of participation and suggested liberals ask the British how that worked out previously. He also took issue with the portrayal of liberal California as a thriving work in progress that gives hope that America can pull out of the political mess we're in, and pointed out that the state actually sucks, at least for everyone who isn't a rich tech industry elitist. California is a bankrupt failed state that is essentially Illinois with palm trees and better weather, wrote Schlichter, who lives in California. Outside the coastal urban enclaves were Jack, Dorsey, and his pals mingle, drinking kombucha and apologizing for their white privilege to their baffled servants, it's a crowded, decaying disaster. Bums wander the streets, littering the sidewalks with human waste. Crime is rising. Illegal aliens abound, more welcome in the Golden State than actual Americans. California is an example all right, but a cautionary one, he added. He also pointed out that California's shift from a relatively equal bipartisan state to one dominated by one-party rule came about largely due to the fact that rich leftists and Democrat-aligned unions poured tons of money into elections, and were aided in their venture by the steady exodus from the state of normal working-class citizens who have moved to other states where their rights are still respected over that of criminals and illegal immigrants. In the end, Schlichter reminded liberals that conservatives were unlikely to accept the fascist silencing of their voices without a fight, and cautioned them against pressing forward with their plans for a new civil war to assert progressive political dominance over the entire country, as it wouldn't turn out as they hope. If the liberals ever get their wish for a new civil war, my money is on the side with all the guns, he wrote in conclusion. We wholeheartedly agree with that sentiment. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.